But honestly, the setup is pretty atrociously uh, favored in the player, or in the red. Which I understand. I do understand that. Let's maybe pick the laser sights and go for this. So now that uh, two giant killers are kind of out of the question now, uh, I suppose let's try Melters. The other option would be going for so many missiles that nothing survives. Melters are probably the only real choice here anyway. Let's try double Melters. Should we give him a range? I feel like I give him EMP. Yeah, we kind of Mustang Melter this one. But let's focus on crashing uh, our op uh, crushing our opponent's army. Ah, that missile won't really make any sense since the opponent is just going to destroy it. Let's just go for speed instead. No, let's sell this and um, mass recruit ourselves. What should we get? Let's keep some of these tanks from instantly being shredded and uh, turn around the opponent's fortress here. And the phoenixes as well. That should help, hopefully. Alright, let's see if these melters can do good work. Even through all of this mis anti missile, I assumed it would be punching through better, but it didn't. Well, it did do a good amount of damage to the shields by the looks of it. Yeah, it is kinda getting through. And with the disabled anti missile, uh, uh, not anti missile, uh, anti air missiles. Um, it gave our wasps a bit of a better chance and they are distracting those phoenixes. We don't have anything here to defend right now and that is a big issue. Probably going to lose because of that, although this is definitely... Like this has been a whole lot better than previously. So I want to try Melters again, but uh, this time not with... Um, not with EMP. It's just not worth against this much anti-missile. This is quite a difficult challenge, I must say. Let's maybe try a haste module. How much absorption is this? This is 120 damage absorption. Let us maybe sell these wasps here. I don't see them doing all that much. Um, and again, they did, but only because of the EMP. What text do we have on the tanks? Oh, that is atrocious. That is not what I like to see. Let's just go and uh, mass melter this one. And then add range instead. We are gonna want one of them here. One of them here. One of them probably... Like here. And then put this on that pack of Mustangs, I would say. Let's see how that one turns out. So that should instantly latch and instantly... Okay, never mind. Never mind. The unfortunate part is that this is unprotected and it's going to get wrecked by the fort. Well, that was definitely a positioning mistake on my part. Is melter range even important here? I wonder. We are gonna get that tower. Is it level 1? It is. But is that going to be enough? I don't think so.
I think that Melter having been in the wrong position is what got us killed here. Turned out about as bad as the previous challenges. Uh, the previous attempts, I should say. Let me grab another. Uh, what's this called? Another bonbon? I think that's also in English, not sure. Maybe I just pick. Uh, I think the haste module is fine. Let's just pick this uh, and do this again. I don't want to rely on phoenixes, honestly. I think melters are the correct choice. Oh, you know what? You know what? For the fun of it, let's blow this up with rhinos. Let's blow this one up with rhinos. Final blitz. Mass recruit another rhino. And then, oh yeah, I still want to sell something. Maybe it's better selling those. I wish I could sell the phoenixes as well, or something like that. And, um... Like, this is probably not gonna work, but only for the, for the memes, kinda. Um, you know what, let's burn uh, his chaff. And see if that gets us anywhere. With the remaining bucks, is there anything I can realistically afford? Not really. Not really. Well, uh, kinda let's get leveled here and uh, temp range. I guess in this permanent range. This is a tough nut to crack. Yeah, this didn't really work. <laughs> I guess these phoenixes are uncontested if... Uh, that is blown up. The only giant killers that we have are these phoenixes here. And they are going to be destroyed by the opponent's phoenixes and everything. So yeah, this didn't work, but it was fun to try it. We are gonna get blasted again. Although honestly, I think that is the least amount of damage yet. Not even a thousand damage received, not even 900. That worked surprisingly well. Like, for real, that worked surprisingly well. Mm. <laughs> Let's maybe try something else. Let's uh, go for anti-air spec here. We do need something to blast through these force fields. So how about, how about we just blast through the opponent's anti-missile? We just freaking blast through it. We don't stop for anyone or anything. We just go up there, punch the opponent's anti-missile uh, uh, or uh, blast it with missiles until it's gone. Let's sell these to get an upgrade here and also get temp range see how that one works. I don't really fancy investing too much into fortress and uh, into anti-missile devices of my own to stop these fortress uh, missiles. Uh, simply so that maybe um, I can stop these level 1 or level 2 phoenixes from getting destroyed. I don't see that as worth it.
Yeah, with this, we kind of don't really have much staying power, uh, if that makes sense. Not working out. This army is lacking in so many things. It has invested into tanks against an opponent uh, who has everything that counts as tanks, basically. Maybe I should get rid of the tanks instead. It would be more money. I guess one thing that is true is that a battleship ship could get there. So let's maybe try that. Let's mobilize a battleship. I'm not sure if it will aggro on the tower or on, on the fortress that is here. I could see both happen. Let us sell these tanks. They are absolutely useless. And then I think we go and invest into melters again. Melters, range, and put them a bit further back uh, in the middle. So that they don't get immediately destroyed. I can put them a bit further up here. I wish I had money to level these Mustangs, but I don't. Let's see how this works out. Okay, it is going for the tower, so that definitely is the killing move here. If any killing move exists, I would say. I do not know what play could potentially even be better than this. Having a battleship, an overlord, going for the tower as soon as possible. The Melters are definitely putting in work. Yeah, I think that is finally the winning formula. The overlord is doing all the work with the tower kill. And from here on out, it's just Mustang Melter for the win. Hopefully. Ah, I think we got this. This is too much moving in. So that is a win. But I think the other person had a much bigger win. They were at like 1,200, so basically twice as many units survived. I want to check this. But I am happy that I managed to even complete this challenge. Yeah. Okay, somebody else got even higher of a score here. That is about to be expected. Ah, okay, it's about a thousand, not a thousand two hundred.